What's up guys, Steve and Dave here from the Ouija Brothers and DNA TV. We are here tonight at Armley Mills up in Leeds, so that's up Dave's end. Uh, no, Griff, no Griff here tonight, he is in hospital, something with his daughter, so he couldn't make it, so Dave's come along to join me, he's on his tiptoes trying to be the same height as me, but he'll, he'll never ever ever happen. But we're here tonight with, um, <laughs> we're here with Haunted Happenings as usual. So we're on a guest night, but this place is massive. We've just had like a little um, tour round with Kerry and the rest of Haunted Happenings. Did you say it was haunted? Yeah, it's meant to be haunted. Did, what this did you say it was here? Ghosts. I don't really know. Child ghosts. This place used to be an old workhouse. It's too quick for me. Um, used to be an old workhouse and you know, little children used to work here. Many people died here. Uh, many injuries. Uh, it's a museum, so if you guys are in the Leeds area, come and check this place out. All these locations we go to are meant to be haunted, but if oh. but, but do we catch anything? Will we catch anything? Yeah. That's yeah. another question. Yeah. So yeah, um, Dave's back on the channel first time in a while. Have I shrunk? I never used to be this short. You have. I'm fucking short. You've always been small. Fuck off. And yeah, this is the old cinema. Now the lady, uh, Kerry, has told us some of the activity that's happened in this cinema place. Oh, the chairs seem to go down. The move on their own. What's your theory on that? Well, I want to see for myself. My theory is there's a dodgy string, uh, springs. It could be. It could be. Should we test? We'll, we'll test it. We'll see how we sturdy they actually are. Just yeah. pick one. Oh, that's pretty sturdy, to be fair. Yeah, yeah it is. Well, you said it was going up or down? Um, down, I think. I think down? So. Yeah, I think they said uh, so the seats go down. Oh, that's pretty strong. On that one, anyway. Let's try, right. it. try another one. Try and lift that one up there. Oh, they go up easy. They do go up easy. Oh, they don't go down easy, though. They go up easy, though. Well, there we go. Oh, no. mm, that's interesting. Let's see what we get. Yeah. You think we should close... Shall we put them all up? Because yeah. I think that might be easier. Yeah. If we put them all up... Yeah. And then if we come back in and then one of them's down... I'm sure I saw Carl do this. Carl The p Mouse haunted Carl. Oh, Carl BT. Did he? I'm sure it was. Yeah. Oh, was he with Stuart as well? Yeah, years ago. And he had the chairs. I could be wrong. He could be somewhere else. So, if we come back in here in a bit. Yeah. Hopefully. It's just on your end. Hopefully, something happens with him. Yeah, he's just here. We're in more board end, so if you go, well, you just do that. I'll be impressed. Yeah, so if you could please, Spirit, or whatever's here. If you could please move one of the chairs for us, we'd be very grateful. Look at what? None of them big cameras. Oh yeah, they're massive ones. Yeah. There's like three huge old uh, style cameras up here. Oh, here we go. Here, here, here are the cameras. I'll never whinge about Dale's camera anymore being heavy and big. I'm trying to lug that around 30 East Drive. When you look at this, oh well, it's a projector. Semi-film projector, king of Iraq in the 1930s for use in his private cinema. Jesus, look at We've just got another radiator there um, shaking people. It's a really nice building. So it is a museum. I oh, wouldn't fancy editing a video on that. Look at this. Hello. Could you make a noise? There's any spirits, ghosts, entities, angels, demons, devils, whatever. Could you please come forward, make a noise, bang on one of the tables, show yourself on camera.
We're not here to harm you, hurt you or anything like that. We're just here to document and film. Don't be afraid. That's just Dave I'm coming out the bathroom. Is anyone connected to one of these old sewing machines? If so, give me a sign. So me and Dave, we're gonna be here for a couple of hours. Uh, the public are gonna be coming in in a bit. We will be filming and recording some of the activities that they do. Um, we're not really getting a lot, but we are just kind of walking around, just exploring it. Hopefully one of them chairs have moved down in the old cinema. And yeah, there's, like I say, there's just, it's, so, it's such a big place, but at least this is a lot more controllable than something like Draculow Tunnels, where that was, what, nearly like four miles worth of tunnel. It's like, where the hell do you start? At least here, you've got like little sections. So we'll keep going on, we'll keep fighting on. Um, hopefully we can capture something. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> Bendley and Tempest. God, we're not standing near people. Oh, it's so that heater is ridiculous. This is the oldest place I've ever been. Oh, here we go. Oh, Jesus. If anywhere is haunted, it's this place. Yeah. Jesus, what's that? It'd be some, a cylinder a, a cylinder press. Oh, you really know that because it's just cylinder press. <laughs> Obviously. Are you connected to one of these? Machines? Looks like something out of like Edward Scissorhands, you know, like looking down the bottom of there. Like the, the workers workshop. Yeah. Oh, there's more in there. Oh, there's something in there as well. There's chairs in there. Oh, chairs. Ghosts. If you're here. Move the chair. I'd love to just see one fly across the room. We've seen it before, we know you can do it. Do it. Got me knocking that window thing again. Come on, I've seen this stuff happen before with my own eyes. Have you? Well, we had the quilt at East Drive, didn't we? <laughs> it, was, it was near enough, wasn't it? Yeah. Come on, spirits. Come on, bitches. You lost your fingers, arms, legs, toes, probably. I don't know why, why would they lose the toe. But apparently, these machines have caused a lot of accidents. Spirits and ghosts have been seen near these machines, I presume. Sounds good enough to me. I might be imagining something. Oh, someone touch me on the knee. Am I imagining that? At least not a bit of arthritis. Yeah. I well. Did something just touch me on the knee? Or is this my trousers being weird? Being awkward. I don't like the look of this. No, oh there. god, I thought I saw a ghost. What? What? It, was, it was just this little figure down here, like that guy has a cardboard cutout. A yeah, but like when when you're doing a corner and then you just see it out of the corner of your eye. It's a totally different story, but yeah, that's just um, just a piece of cardboard. It's pretty impressive, just how they how they used to make clothes. What's this? More working benches. How did we miss all this? Uh, I don't know. Did did we? Well, we we walked past it all. Nah. Did you hear something down there then? Hello? Did you, Dave? What? I heard something down the bottom of there. You just make a noise down the bottom of this hall. Could 
Could you do it again if he was here? Did you hear that? It's like a knock. It was like a loud knock though. No, it was down this section. Where I thought I heard a noise earlier. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh, and that goes out into into the canal section. The locks. Yes. Is that a, like a night vision? Yeah, it's, yeah a, it's a security camera. Hear that? I did indeed. It was like a oh. I heard more of a rumble than anything else. It sounds like it come from above us. But as you can see, this is, seems to be the top floor. Judging by the sight, shape of the ceiling. So it's probably a bird or something running about. What do you think? So I don't know, I'm just guessing. I heard like a oh. Did you? Yeah, that's what it sounded like. Now remember, before we come in, them ladies thought we was around the building making a noise. They did, yeah. And they, they said they actually heard like a man, like going like, ooh. And then they, th and they thought it was me and you, but we walked the total opposite side. That's true, yeah. Okay, so... Okay. Stephen heard you. I think I heard you as well. So we know you're here. Stop hiding. Make yourself now. We're going now back to the cinema section to see if any of the chairs have moved. We heard a few little noises in here. I heard like a bang come down the bottom of the corridor and then a few minutes ago me and Dave did hear some kind of... He said it sounded like a rumble to me, it sounded like kind of like a moan but I suppose... It was the same noise um, but we've got to go back and check to see what it is. So we're just going to now go and see if the cinema chairs have moved. Hopefully they have but obviously expect... expect oh that's just the floorboards. Um, but we haven't really called much. It's quite funny, the REM pod could be going absolutely crazy, but it's so far away. I need to keep, I need to remember to keep bringing it. Did you hear that? What? Okay, okay, it's just children. I think it's, it's children it's... outside, yeah. That was horrible, I thought it, I heard like, oh. And then some noises over here. Can we get down there and have a look? Um, no, god damn, Phil Hossie Jack. To be fair, it's pretty light, so I don't know why kids would be this well, well, to be honest, that's just a canal. What? That's just a water system. You can't really see people, unfortunately, but it's just a water system. See, that's all the canal, that is. Can you see? Yeah. We did it, we did it. Is anyone here? Have the people arrived yet, you think? The guests, I mean. Mm. Yeah, maybe. It's not bad. But there, there was sound of children. I'm not putting that down as paranormal. It could have been something outside. But I've just, we've just looked. And that's a canal system. Um, yeah, at this time of night as well. Yeah. Why would kids be at... What time is it? It's about, I'd nine say it's about eight o'clock. Eight, nine o'clock. The palace, the picture house. And um, I think we'll do it together because it'll be unfair if, uh, if I capture it on my camera first. Yeah, I suppose. Anything here? Of course, it Nothing. If you tried to lower one of the chairs for us, could you please set off this device on the floor? It's called a REM pod. If you go close to it, I'll just show you. If you just go close to it, like this. It just makes a noise. 
Now, I don't think it hurts you, because I have no way of knowing if this hurts you or not. But if you try to set, um, if you did try to open, I mean, sorry, move one of the chairs, could you just set off that device for us, please? Just set it to green, and that'll be more than enough. What was that? I have no idea. It was by you, though. It was like a... wasn't as pronounced as that. What we've just heard, is that Stephen Wacky's camera on? Yeah, it's it on? Yeah, it's recording. Right, so we've just walked upstairs from the cinema section uh, amongst the, um, the group and uh, what's her name? Uh, Kerry, Kerry. And, and the lady that like basically she's like the tour guide of this place she works here yeah the historian we, yeah which joined the, the the group and the people who uh, instruct the group uh, lead the group you now the leaders of the group who tell people what's going on and apparently what happens in this very room here is um, back in the day children were struck on the leg by a stick and they got beaten by a cane yeah they got yeah. beaten by a cane by this nasty blog, because kids used to work here back in the 1800s, the Victorian era, they used to get whacked on the leg. And apparently people who come here occasionally report phenomena have been smacked on the leg. And what did I say? You Not did. that long ago, and we didn't know this, I didn't know this at all. No. Nope. I was, I felt something, it wasn't quite a strike, it was more of a tap on the knee. Yep. And, and, I, and, I, and I actually said, yeah. is it arthritis kicking in? That's true. And I was like, no, nah, just my leg rubbing against my leg. No, sorry, my trouser leg rubbing against my knee or something weird yeah. like that, didn't I? And he was in the, he was actually in the room. In the same room. The, the precise room where the lady says there's a man who walks around that section with a cane yep. and you will feel like something touch your leg. Yeah. So I think that's pretty interesting. Also. Because we, well, we had no idea about that. We didn't know. New, we don't really know anything about this building, if I'm honest. Me and Dave have actually come into the cottages that are basically on the side of the museum. Now, the public aren't even allowed to come into this part of the building, so this is an exclusive. We've been locked in. We're quite, quite limited to what we can actually do in this cottage section. We can only be in like the main hall and the one bedroom. We can't go up the stairs or anything, but still, it's, a, it's an exclusive. It's, it's a, at least we're away from kind of everybody. Not that we want to be away from anyone, but it's... <laughs> It's pretty good, you know, we, we can focus and see if we can get some kind of activity down here. What's happened here, I have no idea because I didn't even know about the cottages. So, I suppose we're just going to wing it. Yeah, now I'm going to uh, do my intro <laughs> on our channel. <laughs> intro. Here we go. Right then. Here we are. It is myself, it is Stephen from the Ouija Brothers or the Richard Brothers, <laughs> and we are in Satan's Cottage. This cottage is supposedly haunted by the devil himself. I didn't hear that, I'm making that up. You never know. Yeah. Well, everyone else makes everything up. That block looks pretty evil to me. Yeah. There's no name. Who needs a name? It could it be- It's pretty evil to me. It could be the person who caned you. Yeah. You're right. And then we've got another one here. We've got a... I mean, look at them eyes. Fuck me. Those are evil eyes. That is like something from the Omen. The manager's house. Look at that. Careful, Dave. I'm all right. I've had enough trouble with pictures and plates and stuff on walls. <laughs> so what we've done, I've just put the REM pod on the stairs. So if you could come down the stairs, please. The owner of this place, I presume it's... Oh. It could be one of these, who knows. But there is a grand picture at the top of these stairs that's about 15 foot or something tall. Have you seen it, Dev? What's that? Jesus! A huge picture there. Look at this, lads. Lads. Bloody hell, look at that. Massive, ain't it? I didn't see that. Hello? That's bloody big, ain't it? Possibly, yeah. Back in the Victorian days? I think that's what it says here. Built in the 19th, uh, um, 1790s, this house 
provided accommodation for the mill managers, Israel and John Burroughs. <gasps> Hold on, we've got a kit. Here we go. Why'd you say we couldn't go in here? Right, this place is really altered apparently. And we've just gone into a dining room. Look at this dining room. I'm gonna show this dining room. Look at this. It's a seance room, Dave. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is a good room. I like this room. It's warm. In this room. Uh, warm, sorry. Look at this room. Hello? Look at that cabinet. No, I don't. This could all be authentic stuff, Dave. You open the door. I need the living room. We can open it, but we can't go in. God, that stinks in here. Hello? You wouldn't be able to fit a 75 inch TV in here, would you, Dave? Oh, certainly not. You got like, what, a, 20, a 22 inch on the wall? Yeah, 22, yeah. About that size on the wall. Oh, and then the original okay. stairs as well. More stairs? Yeah, some stairs around there. Come in. No. We're in the dark now. Doesn't actually seem that dark, does it? No. It doesn't. Could you come forward? Show yourself on camera for me and Dave. We're the only two people in this building. Come on, Thomas. Did you make a loud noise like this? That'll impress us. And everyone at home watching, that's what we want to hear, that's what we want to see. Indeed. If you're afraid to make a loud noise, or you don't have the energy, just set off that little machine at the bottom of the stairs with the lights on. You can't be afraid of that. If you're this big, mean, evil spirit that goes around hitting people with a cane, surely you should be able to set off a device that's on the bottom of the stairs. What do you think, Dave? Yes, indeed. That's all you gotta do, mate. Walk down these stairs and show us some real power. Come on, Thomas. Come on, Israel. We want a bang. We want something thrown. We want to be pushed, attacked, scratched. Everyone else seems to get it. I never do. Pull me to the floor. Kill me. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Come on, Thomas. Look at oh. people on the leg. What? what was that? What? Look at, I don't, I don't know what it was. It sounded like something over this direction. Come on, Thomas. Look at oh. people on the leg. Come on, Thomas. Look at oh. people on the leg. Come on. Come on, Israel. Come on, Thomas. Is that it? A little tap upstairs. You think I went pressed by that? No. We didn't press by that, are we? I didn't Fuck even, your taps. I didn't even hear Fuck it. Fuck your taps. Come on. Send something flying. Do it. So what we're going to do, um, we've been in here for about nearly an hour. We haven't really caught anything. We've tried lots of different methods, styles, and all that other good stuff. And um, with no results, unfortunately. Well, actually, I wouldn't say no results. I did hear something like kind of like rushing in that room. Um, so I've got to, we've got to go back and check, but nothing that I can go, we call something paranormal. We're going to go into the back into the mill now, um, because I think we've, we've done as much as we can here. Yeah. Uh, we're going to just team back up with Haunted Happening, see if we can capture anything. And how did you find it in here, Dave? Absolutely nothing happened. 
as far as I'm concerned, nothing. I didn't feel anything, didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. Tried to uh, antagonise the spirits and still got nothing. So, I mean, I've done all I can do here. And as far as I can say, this building isn't haunted. You've heard it from the man himself? From the master of the ghosts himself. Ring around the roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Yay. Did you like that? Did you like that song? Is that better, spirit? My left leg it's really violent, is really violent. Is it? Yeah. Can do you, you take the glass towards where you're standing? Whereabouts are you standing? Whereabouts are you standing? We've got some little girls, we know that, don't we? So where are your little girls standing? You're standing with Dean. You're standing over here? Oh. Welcome to the table. Well done. It's nice to talk to you. Do you recognise any of these voices? Are any of these faces familiar to you? Do we look like somebody that you used to know? Come and let us know. Come around us, take the energy from us to move this table. We'd love you to tip this table to the green light for yes and the blue light for no. Please try and work with us. <laughs> Are you messing with us again? Yeah. <laughs> so me and Dave now are back in the old cinema room. Now, while, 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 while we were in the cottage, uh, haunted happenings said they, the guests have been hearing a lot of noises and voices coming from this way. We've just recorded a bit of a Ouija board, a bit of table tipping. Um, not a lot is happening at the moment on those. So me and Dave have decided to come into the old cinema to see if we can actually hear some of those noises that um, the people have been hearing. They also said that an old man does like to sit in one of these chairs. So the chairs do go down and he sits in here. And they also mentioned um, a lady who sits on a, pushes a basket over or something or sits on it. But it's just me and Dave in here. Everyone else is doing other things in the building. So we're just gonna chill in the cinema. Um, I mean, if a film starts playing, that'd be great. Is there anything in here? Is there anything in here with me and Dave? We're going in a minute. And we've seen nothing. We've heard a few things, though. I mean, we can't, we can't damn play too much. We've heard a few things. Dave's been struck. Did you, the... you just? Yeah, sorry, that was just me just reenacting. Jesus Christ, <laughs> boy! Good God! Sorry. Right. If you can do it for them, then surely you can do it for us. All you have to do is level one of these seats. Yeah, I mean, come and sit next to either me or Dave. We don't mind. We're not horrible people. No, definitely not. So come and join us. Come and sit down next to us. Come move a chair. Was it you? Sorry, yeah, it's just me, me, me moving my arm. See, that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. This, that. Come on. We know for a fact that you are here. So we, know, we know for a fact. Yeah, we know for a fact. Facts. So what exactly you're pretending you're not here, I don't understand. That's the big question, Andy Dave. Big question. If someone said, set the rampart off, I'd set it, I'd do more than set a rampart off. I'd throw it at them. Yeah. I'd stamp on the aerial. What is your problem? That sounds like a movie reel. In the name of Jesus, is that? What was that? Is it something to do with them upstairs? What is your problem? What's that? That sounds like a movie reel. In the name of Jesus, is that? 
So guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up right now. Uh, we've, we've spent quite a few hours here. We haven't picked up anything too major. We've had a, little, a few little things here and there, but um, you know, we've got to go back and check it in the edit just to see if it is actually anything. Um, it's been a fun night. It's been good to hang out with Dave. First investigation I've done with him for a very long time, so that's always fun. Um, it's been it's a good it's a good location. You know, if you guys are down near Leeds, go check out um, Arley Mills. You know, you know it's only a small fee or whatever. Massive thank you to Haunt, Haunted Happenings for letting us uh, join them. If you're new to the channel, you know what to do and all that other good stuff. And yeah, I think that's it. Any last words, Dave? Farewell. Farewell. Farewell, friends. Yeah. Um, see you when I see you.